And does the, f do the heads of the department keep you on because they like these directions in your teaching? Or they like, oh, he's famous, he's in the movies, of course we've got to have him. Um, I, th I think students like to work with me. That's, that's, my, that's, that's what I've been told. Um, but I think mostly um, uh, uh, programs are being held to task for being these terrible vestiges of colonial Canada, and uh, rightly so. And there are very few professors that look like me. You don't just mean in the representation of the faces and the teaching facts faculty, you actually mean the content and direction of the courses that are offered. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not just like the bodies teaching it. <clears throat> it's the entire apparatus. Um, I'd really, I really think theater in Canada is in terrible, terrible trouble. Um, for all kinds of reasons. Um, I had a discussion with, uh, you know, a wonderful collaborator, uh, one of my longtime collaborators, uh, Lawrence Cherney from Soundstreams, Soundstream. And um, I told him, I was like, theater is like, it's the whitest, most entitled, privileged um, space in Canada. And he, <laughs> he was kind of like, what, what are you talking about? We're like making theater pieces here. And I said, uh, it's so inaccessible. To the audience, to the artists? Uh, to the audience, I'm talking about the audience. It's so inaccessible. I was like, first of all, think about coming out to see a show. Like we've got a show and it's playing here at X. All right, well, the vast majority of people um, whether it's pay what you can or not, it's like, that's a, that's a really expensive idea. Um, so you don't mean you the know. $35, well, you mean the $35 tickets, the $95 tickets, and the $145 tickets? No, I'm, t I'm, t I'm, just, I'm talking a $5 ticket. I'm talking about being in a place where so many people work all the time. Like, to, to, to make you know, their lives happen, uh, to not be homeless. So many people are working, and it's like, I have uh, four hours off tonight. <clears throat> I'm gonna spend three of it at a show, is, is, like, is, like, is like Q on the, on the ABCs of things to do. Um, because it's like, well, who's gonna take care of my kids? Um, how am I, you know, like I've been pulling crazy shifts. I, uh, I need to sleep for three of those hours. Uh, there's, you know, parking. How, how do I get there? How do I even get to the place? Uh, but and if, then you're, when if you're talking the economics of it, you're saying we've structured our theater for the upper middle class folks to upper class folks who can afford the babysitter, the whatever, the hundred dollar tickets. Hundred percent. And no one else can go because they can't afford all these pieces. 100%. And then, and then I explained further, I was like, okay, so let's say it's dance. Let's say it's like contemporary dance. <laughs> and you go and you're, there you are. You've carved out this incredible, like incredibly privileged chunk of time for yourself to experience something. And you're in this like space and this thing happens and you go, well, what happened? What was that? Like, I said, I said to Lawrence, I was like, you and I have been to a lot of dance. Like, he's, he's produced many of my shows. Like, the more times you go see dance, the more times you have tools to break it apart right. and go, oh, wow, look, what they did there was so cool because, see, <clears throat> because you've had this privileged life where you'd seen all this dance and you knew how to go and you knew what to do and you knew how to absorb it and see it and appreciate it. And it's like, you know, to enjoy a, a contemporary dance piece means that you've had the luxury 
of seeing a lot of dance, to train yourself to appreciate it and to appreciate the nuance of it and the, the, the sophistication of it. And also to feel comfortable in those spaces. Like, I grew up in those spaces. Uh, whenever my dad would come to a show, I was like very conscious, like, that's a Cree man in a predominantly white space. He's been in a lot of those before. And it's like, this is your seat, and this is what you do. There's like all these rules about theater going. And, and I said to him, I said to Lawrence, I was like, so when you've got a show, because I'm making these short films with, in collaboration, like you could have a kid way up in you know, Pond Inlet, you know, and he's got his phone and he's watching this thing. He doesn't need to have a whole lot of information about how to view it, when to view it. Right. It's, it's not out of his, uh, uh, it's, it's not like being on uh, another planet. Like, I'm going to go down to Toronto. And I'm going to go to the pay what you can, and I'm going to see this thing because I heard some great things about it. It's just not possible.